Welcome to the Hydraulic Press channel. Today we have a really interesting video. We are going to test how tough my miniature 3D printed submarines are. And these are printed out from titanium. I have a video about that on Beyond the Press channel. <laughs> it took some time to get them on the test, but now I'm doing it. These are printed standing up like this. And uh, here is hole on the end that is plugged with small titanium plug that is glued on its place. And uh, these are different thicknesses. So each one is going to take a bit different pressure or depth to implode. And they should go around maybe 70 to 100 bars, but I really don't know. And I think the first one we are going to film with Sony FX3 and it runs 100 frames per second, so we get slight slow motion and after we have filmed one with that then I think I'm going to switch to Kronos high speed camera to see like super slow motion of the implosion. Okay I managed to uh, attach the submarine here really nicely with the zip ties and this is going to be the holder that holds it on its place and I have some magnets here to hold the holder and in it goes and then we just close the lid Fill that with water and there we go. Okay, everything is ready and these are so hard to design and manufacture that I think if you would like order these, these would be like thousand euros each. I used way too much time on designing these and then the printing and everything. And the uh, color comes from the uh, uh, rubber coating just like on the real thing. So I have a big screen here so I can see what is going on and here is the pressure meter and I think they are going to pop at 200 bars. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay, it didn't pop. Oh no, there is a leak. It leaks from the uh, end plug. Uh, yeah, but maybe it's just this one. I'm going to switch to new one and then I'm going to try again. Okay, here is the deep sea submarine and leaked from there. So I took the last ones and add uh, some super glue around this area here to make it seal better. Uh, there is like a thread locker type of glue now. There between the plug and the submarine, but uh, seems that the application isn't like even enough and there was small crack for the water to go through. So maybe with the double glue. Okay, I got bored while the glue is drying, so I put this fellow in. <laughs> Surprising the Lord still. Let's see what happens when I release the pressure. Okay, surprisingly small change. I thought it's going to be a bigger effect on the guy. Okay, moment of truth. Now we have some uh, super glue and tape. And yeah, I think this is going to hold. And here we go.
did it implode? But it also doesn't leak. So, seems that they are just too tough. Okay, the last submarine is now inside of the chamber. And the previous one that came out, it was completely empty, no water inside. So it didn't leak, as I said. And this one, I don't have any markings on this because I'm stupid. But this feels much lighter. So it's going to be weaker, but how much weaker? And will it make any difference? Let's find out. too much. Seems that it's completely like destroyed. It's not a like small dent. And I have no idea how much of pressure we had, but you saw that on the cameras. Okay, here it oh oh here it comes. And it's it's flat. Flat like this, and in two pieces like this. And I can measure what is the thickness of this one, but clearly it was quite thin because it popped way before maximum pressure, and the another one didn't pop at all. Yeah, but I have to say that I'm really pleased that this imploded. It would be a bit sad to have all of this amount of work done for the video and then not be able to break these. Yeah, and as always, if you have any ideas what I should put inside of the chamber, please let me know. And that is all for today. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.